Howdy, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors and happy Valentine's Day. Today on Skillet Sundays, we're gonna be making a red velvet cookie in a cast iron skillet. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is some sugar, brown sugar, flour, a little bit of kosher salt, baking soda, some unsweet cocoa powder, white chocolate chips, some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm using dark chocolate because I like that better. You'll need an egg, six tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon of red food coloring, and vanilla. So you'll also need a bowl and either a hand mixer or a stand mixer. And I'm gonna use a three inch cast iron skillet. You can use a five inch, a seven, 10, 12, whatever you'd like. You just cut down the recipe. And if you're gonna use a smaller one, you can save the rest and freeze it for later. Before you start, you should preheat the oven to 350. So next you will take the six tablespoons of butter and make sure it's softened and add that into your bowl. Add half a cup of sugar and a fourth a cup of brown sugar. And you will mix this until creamy. Once mixed together, you can add one teaspoon of vanilla and one egg. And you can beat that together. Add one cup of flour. Add two tablespoons of unsweet cocoa powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And one tablespoon of red food coloring. And you'll mix this until it's just combined. It may help to use a spatula here to make sure you mix it well. You can add in a half a cup of your chocolate chips and you can add in a half a cup of your white chocolate chips and mix that together. By now your oven should be ready. So you'll take your cast iron skillet. In this case, I have a three inch cast iron skillet and you'll add about a half a cup or about four to six ounces. And you'll just spread in a even layer. And then you can spread a few more chocolate chips over the top. And now it's time to bake. You'll put this in the oven on 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Your time will vary depending on your size of cast iron skillet used. So make sure you keep an eye on it and take it out when it's done. After about 13 minutes, you can remove from the oven. This is best if served hot, so make sure you add your favorite ice cream and chocolate syrup. Hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. See you all next week.